Hi Pisces, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your October 2017 Love and Romance, Career and Finance reading. Thank you for those of you who've been in touch over and over again, receiving monthly readings. My little spirit angels, soul angels, you guys have been fantastic keeping me updated as to how these messages are actually helping to guide the path before you to make things much less intense. Thank you for sharing. To those of you who are new, welcome. I'm starting out with the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. Pisces, please. Word of prayer for when we go to close the reading. Thank you. Now, I'm not going to look at that card right now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to start with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. I'm going to be combining this deck with the Rider Waite deck for further clarification as we go through each step of this spread. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Pisces with clearly defined messages regarding their career, their career in finance energies for into and end to the end of October 2017. So the card representing your current life path here on earth at this time is complicated when it comes to career and finances. And the card crossing that is the hope card. Understand that the moon represents hope and that hope is shining down on the path before you. Without hope you would be left in the dark. Have hope when it comes to this complicated manner. Matter. Okay, so again, this is the Wisdom of the House of Night deck, and I'm going to be combining it with the Rider Waite deck for further clarification. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Pisces, male or female, because it's a general reading, with clearly defined messages regarding career and finance, now on into the month of October 2017. Thank you. So some of you, for some of you, not all of you, the situation when it comes to career and finances is a bit complicated because maybe you've been somewhere for a very long time and you're wondering if you should give it another chance even though you have a bandage on your forehead. We have the freedom of choice. Do we want to give it another chance or do we want to lay down the struggle and move forward? Well, we're trying to have hope, but there's been a lot of difficult experiences in the past that we've had to endure. But those, each of those difficult experiences was meant to make us a stronger person. So now the time has come to take down those swords and to open up the blinds and let the sun shine in. Let that moon shine in. Crawl through the window. Follow that path because the moon and the hope is being blessed down upon your path by spirit. In your thoughts position, for some of you Pisces, the High Priestess of Water is helping you with your thoughts to maintain and to control your emotions at this time because some of you are going through some sort of heartache. Um, yeah, I have a weird feeling that doesn't even have to do with career and finances, but if it's actually letting go of something, of finally going through the pain of letting go and walking away from a business. The High Priestess of Water is also going to try and guide you towards what fulfills you and makes you happy. Now in your foundation you've got the Beauty card. This is coming in as two ways. One, it is Spirit's way of reminding you guys that you are very beautiful all the way down to the depth of your stem okay who you are and to remember those around you even though they may be attractive to you or an opportunity may be attractive to you it's important to remember that sometimes beauty is only skin deep now this card is being represented with the six of pentacles meaning that it is important as you connect with others to make sure that you are receiving as well as you are giving as much as you are giving that this scale is balanced because balance is happiness in the recent past you guys either were deceived by someone or you were deceiving yourself and there was a lot of pain and anguish and frustration 
and now you're moving forward and you have nine swords instead of ten. In other words, the path was over and now you're bringing them back up in your head again. But the point is, is do you want to maintain these emotions and heartache or do you want to balance out your life and to find joy? In the next couple few weeks, it's about really looking at a situation and not being in denial. Okay? Um, getting out of your head. In the next two to three weeks, it's important to maybe start a hobby, um, read some books, play some games, do something to get out of your head. You're in denial about a heartache, and the truth of the matter is, is that some of you, not all of you, turned a beautiful situation into what you thought was fair and balance. And I'm really feeling like this is with a relationship. I'm so sorry, but these are the messages I have to say. It could also be that you are now balancing everything on something that is beautiful, where you can let yourself shine. And there is balance there. It does make you feel good. So Spirit's saying, as you move forward, continue to focus on what feels good and let go of the anguish and pain of the past. Don't keep denying yourself the reality and the truth, okay? If you have to go through the emotions, the High Priestess of Water is there to guide you. In the next four to six weeks, Spirit's saying the High Priestess of Earth is here to guide you also. So listen to her messages. She always shows you messages on the radio, TV, through passer buyers and their conversations. I mean, you'll know when it's your message. If you ask the high priestess to guide you when it comes to career and finances, then be open to hope. Be open to looking for those opportunities of billboard signs, opportunities, whatever it is, so that she can guide you to this financial abundance because Spirit's saying in the next four to six weeks you have control over manifesting great prosperity in your own two feet all by your lonesome and it's because the high priestess of earth has seen the beauty in you spirit in general is acknowledging your desire for balance they're sending in the high priestess of air so the situation it's lined up with is this situation that you're up in your head about, that you're in denial about, that is tied to heartache, that you need to balance your emotions about. And now they're sending in the high priestess who's saying, I'm going to cut out the things that you're not strong enough to cut out for yourself. Negative things, negative people, negative situations, negative environments, things that no longer serve you, even if they were positive. So they're bringing in the temperance angel to wrap her dark red wings around you to help you to heal, to help you to think about new ideas, new decisions, new directions before you head down this path and sit at the next throne. They would like for you to remain patient until you have clarity. In your hopes and fears position, you're hoping to come to an understanding that you no longer will be standing in the dark. That spirit's light is going to shine down on you and going to provide you with a great understanding when it comes to this new business. When it comes to climbing up to a higher level of prosperity. When it comes to a leadership position. And when it comes to being able to care and take for those around you whom you love. In your outcome position. We've got your individuality. Spirit wants you to use your individuality to bring something to a very creative ending. And then to go through this spiritual transformation and then to step into this new path where your individuality is how the path starts, okay? It's balanced on your ability to maintain balance and fairness and shine from within, the only blockage is some sort of denial. But I feel that the High Priestess of Earth and the High Priestess of Air is going to guide you when it comes to finances and financial independence. And to healing because 
The High Priestess of Air is going to cut things out of your path that don't belong there, and you're going to witness that, and you're going to be like, okay, it's gone, I understand. Guess it's not that complicated anymore. The point is, a spirit wants you to apply your individuality when it comes to career and finances right now, because that's what's going to bring you guys the most prosperity. Yeah. And that is what's also going to build your confidence. Some of you are also going to find that your confidence is built as you're working with a difficult child or children or a difficult person because of the way you handled a situation. Okay, and the High Priestess of Air wants to explain that she's cutting a person out of your life or a career out of your life because number one, they don't want to accept your love and that's fine. And number two, because the path is over. You've attempted it many times over and decided, you know what, it's time to go. It's time to leave something behind and do it in a very kind way. You know, when a path is done, a path is done. We move on to the next until we step into the next new world path. Okay, so let's look at love for Pisces. And again, they're saying it's all about confidence, Pisces. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Pisces. Love and romance energies for the month of October 2017. Thank you. Okay, so when it comes to love and romance, Spirit's saying there's absolutely no need to worry. For some of you, Pisces, not all of you again. I'm pulling various energies as I do this one video. So it's an example of a personal video. It's a one half hour video. And all you have to do is email me at the email address below. The information in the box below explains everything else. All right, so in the card representing the current life path here on earth at this time when it comes to love and romance for Pisces for the month of October 2017 they're saying that's what I thought before why are you still going back and forth about things that are dead and gone that are in the past that need to be let go of you hung them on your wall and now you have to think about them all the time so take them off the wall let yourself sleep at night the card crossing that is saying no with an exclamation mark. No, now is not the time to rest and to kick back. Or they're saying no, you need to rethink things. Yeah, no, they're saying get away from the swords in general. You shouldn't have negativity in your life right now. Spirit's really been working with Pisces to help them to find their own joy. And in your thoughts, see, you guys want positive, big, happy changes. And you can now. You are at a higher level spiritually than those around you that you've dealt with before. And they may not understand your viewpoint. They may not understand um, what you've gone through. But you've worked for these big, happy changes. So don't bother having the arguments with those who don't understand your path where you're at what you've learned because you could be way higher spiritually than they are and it's going to take them years to get there so let them be human and let them figure it out on their own in your foundation we've got yes with an exclamation mark yes each of those swords were meant to teach you about yourself and to make you stronger it is now the time to let those swords dissipate and to stand up and move forward as a stronger soul. In the recent past, Spirit was asking for you to take upon a new direction. Maybe you guys were hoping for a new direction. I feel like for some of you who are with someone, this could be a new direction in career and finances. For singles, I feel like it's career and finances, but that it's in this new direction you're choosing, that you're hoping for spirit to bring in a new path in love. But it's like all of this worry in these swords and the pain, it's like all these dark energies are blocking your ability to allow the happiness and the good to come in and get recognized. 
So in the next couple few weeks, Spirit's saying don't stop, keep taking those steps forward. Do what you need to do in October. Leave troubled waters behind. In the next four to six weeks, Spirit's saying you guys have control over acknowledging that now is just not the right time to head off in that new exciting direction, to take off in that new path, to do that new thing that you're excited about. Because there are things that have to heal here. You guys are at a higher level spiritually. I feel like there is... Everything is laid out before you for happiness because you guys have been praying for happiness and yet you're dragging all these swords with you. The pain in the past is over. We are now being born into a number one year which goes on into the next nine years and we're at the nine or tenth point in this year, the months, and we're like being reborn or we're giving birth to something new. And in this case, it's like you guys need to work on the end of the swords. And then once you get into the wands where you can finally get excited about something, don't stop. The time will come for you to move forward. They're saying there's something much better than even the big happy changes you've witnessed spiritually. That there's something much better in your life than just heartache. Than just carrying swords. Heaviness, negative energies. If you reach out and you step into a higher level of creating a big, happy life for yourself, accepting the happy energies and seriously cutting away anything that's negative from your path, however you can do that. When I think of negative things, I just go, ugh, and I cut it out of my path. Our path is only this big. If we cut out negativity, we actually vacuum in new blessed beginnings. It's like a fresh baby from heaven. And it's how we take this path. Do we want to take in the old energies again and have to learn that all over again and make it all dirty and messy? Or do we want to do something different now that we know we have an ability to move forward confidently towards something better? In your hopes and fears position, we, are, we have you guys hoping to recover from... Something you wanted to maybe give another try to. You're trying to maybe figure out, should I go back? But remember, you've already left this troubled water. Why would you go back? In your outcome position, Spirit is asking for you to take action big time, you guys. To release yourself from what you feel you are stuck in. Because this is a figment of your imagination. But some, for some reason, you guys think you're stuck inside, outside, within a situation of sorts. We are able at any point in our life path to take our mind and our body and to move in whatever direction we so choose. But we've got swords, 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 and swords. So what we need to do is we need to say, Spirit, please, as we're looking into a candle or even just an imaginary candle flame and say, I put all these negative things that happened to me. I put all of these negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions into this candle flame. <sighs> Blow it out and watch it dissipate back into the universe, knowing that in this moment, you just opened a portal to a brand new path for yourself. It's like a brand new canvas. Who are you now? After this change, how do you feel? And draw that or paint that picture of yourself and what your life's going to look like. And then think about who's going to be in this life with you. Who would you have picked back when you had all the swords and the confusion? And who would you pick now? Because the card representing the entire reading is saying, now's the time to be assertive in your life path. Now's the time to express your truth, to receive the finances that have been coming towards you slowly that are meant for you. It could also be that when someone comes towards you who may have earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, be assertive. 
and listen to your intuition. And this is representing Virgo. Listen to your intuition. And remember with the hermit energies, what you learned in the past. Remember those swords, even though you don't have to feel them anymore. Use your energies now to turn around and move forward differently so that you don't end up where you were back then. The Spirit's saying, as you're making the right choice, something positive is going to happen with regards to justice. It could be that you're asked to marry someone. It could be that this person asking you to marry them could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Either way, if this is you setting goals to accomplish something in your path, communicate clearly with others about what it is that you want. And then let go. Realize you've come full circle. You've learned what this path was meant to teach you about yourself. And now you can confidently step into this new world path. As a new person who can hope, wish, and pray and make any wish come true by wishing on a star with the star card energies. Hope, wish, and pray and work on your health. Hope, wish, and pray for your health. Know that a year from now you will have manifested a beautiful new beginning for yourself. And it's going to grow into something glorious. Spirit's going to assist you with this. And that in the near future, they will bring in that new gift, that new opportunity, that new creative project or financial blessing when it comes to career or your own business. <laughs> yeah, so as far as love you guys for the month of October, just focus on that healing process. Know that there's something much better for you if you'll just take action and accept the big happy blessings that are available to you from spirit. Um, you're blocking your way, you're blocking yourself, but look at this, they're not giving up on you. They're saying they're going to provide you guys with confidence one way or another. Even if you've been in denial, they're like, nope, ain't happening. We're not letting them do that again this year. So in the first week and a half to two weeks, Pisces, from when you watch this video, know that some of you may have been feeling down, poor, sad, depressed. Some of you have also been working hard in your throne, sitting there and making sure that all of your goals are met and that they're achieved by a proper amount of time and setting more goals and continuing not to give up on setting goals until you achieve what it is you've set out to do. And what you've set out to do is actually to connect to others via finances or career and you're going to be receiving messages back. At some point, there may be a difficult decision to make. Okay, but instead of sitting stagnant, make sure you take off the blindfold and do the research. Look at things from every perspective. You will come to the truth of the situation because Spirit's bringing you the victory sword. So you can claim victory over the way things have been in the past. And now you can move forward into a new path, which sometimes is scary. But turn that fear into excitement because you have the knowledge that this brand new fresh path is something being offered to you from the heavens. Someone may be frustrated. It could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, because things are not turning in their favor. That was a lesson, and now you will be receiving uh, information about money. You may be taking a train, plane, or automobile to go or bring a child on a trip or to have to deal with a difficult child who is in a court situation or a court situation discussing a child. And Spirit's saying that you've put a lot of work into a situation and to know that at some point 
just wait a tiny bit longer. At some point, the truth is going to come in and you'll be able to move forward in your path. In the next couple few weeks, you may already know what it is that you're excited to move forward towards, but you have to go through some sort of difficult process to get there. Once you get on the other side of this situation, you are going to be shining like the sun. So this is the next two to three weeks. You're going to be feeling like a kid again, uh, running through the sunflower fields, bareback riding, the sun's shining, your aura's bright, you're giving off great positive energies, you're drawing positive experiences and people towards you. And that's when spirit drops in the red cloth of love. For those of you in a relationship, something wonderful is going to release you from something. You're going to come together and there's going to be a strong, strong love and a happy home life. It could be a celebration of an engagement. And for those of you who are single, once you free yourself from something, yes, once some of you who are single realize that some form of path is empty, that no matter which way you put these cups, you keep ending up empty, it's like something was missing the entire time. You're finally going to move forward in your path. And even though it's scary, I feel like some of you might be moving towards what could feel like a real love and you're going, oh my gosh, this person really loves me. I don't know if I should be turned on or off by that. But the moon is hope and hope is shining on your path. Without hope, it would be dark. Wouldn't you like to have a direction to go in, especially one like this, full of peace, joy, contentment, happiness, and love, full of balance and equal give and take? Balance is happiness. So put an end to some sort of path. Step forward into that successful business ownership, creative project, and get out of your head when it comes to this person, place, or situation that you became somehow addicted to. Break the chains from that connection and know that that's when you'll be able to start celebrating great changes. Heal, think of new ideas, and know that the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. You're gonna be doing well, some of you, financially. You're becoming very financially independent and someone may try to race in and take something from you, like your heart. This person could be in an authority position or own their own business or have a lot of money. This person could be or have earth uh, energies or be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And they're coming into your path. But remember, before you let them into your path and in, over the river and into your heart, that you look at what's on offer in that cup, financially or in love. Is it overflowing with abundance and love? Because you don't want to feel imbalanced. Get to the truth of the situation. Have the discussion about your boundaries. Have the discussion about your goals. If they don't have the same goals as you do, then this love is nothing but new and small, and that's fine. But if you're looking for something deeper than just a small come and go person use your sword to cut them out of your path because what spirit wants to bring you guys is complete and utter fulfillment with friends and family and pets and kids and gorgeous surroundings and plenty of finances and more children for some of you not all of you the high priestess is going to be lighting your way trying to guide you to make the right choices when it comes to someone who's closed off in the next four to six weeks. Oh boy. We have a soulmate connection or a soul contract. Maybe you guys finally leave your business. And look at these two people look just like the other but dressed differently. Maybe you're meeting with yourself for the first time with your contentment and your happiness. With your ability to get recognition for something you've created because you were, you were provided with the energies of the strength card. This strength helped for you to lay down an old path when it came to career or a difficult struggle with someone. And now you find yourself in a position of great fulfillment. 
the ability to really stop and look at people from a distance, to communicate a little bit, to observe, to listen to your intuition, and to take a great amount of time before rushing in to any sort of connection. Let me see if I see anything else here. Don't have harsh words with others. Leave them in their path. Make sure when you connect and open your heart to people that you're not building a connection on fantasy and lust unless that's all you want is a quickie. If you want a long-term connection, you need to spend time together, make memories together, set goals together about your path together, and then discuss what goes beyond dinner. All right, so messages are going to come in quickly, but you need to be clear about what this person's viewpoint is when it comes to a relationship. Are they being true and honest or are they playing tricks? The Ace of Wands is saying come into this new beautiful path. Let others go in a kind way because we're giving you spiritual messages that aren't about fantasy. We're guiding you when it comes to being the king or queen of your path, the emperor of your path. This is getting organized, logical, disciplined, and focused about who you're going to let in your path, what you're going to let in your path, and what you're going to think about long before you let it in your path. And then Spirit's going to lead you in a new direction. I feel you guys in October towards many blessings in career and finance. And around that time, you're going to hear that someone isn't going to accept your cup of love and there's nothing to worry about. Spirit's ending the deck with the realization that someone is dishonest and sneaky. And they're saying no. Remain confident. They're saying no again. Now is not the right time. When it comes to romance, there will be success if you reconsider having a peaceful resolution with this person that's been on your mind, that's not healthy for you, know that a year from now, not only will you be improving your health, you'll be connecting more with spirit through meditation. Remain positive and get more information because as you forgive yourself and others via meditation, you will start to come to the realization that you've found yourself, basically. It's up to you to spread your wings and fly in a manner where you know where you're going now. You know what you want. You know who you are. It's like you're becoming the opposite side of yourself, like a Virgo, you know, who says, nope. Pisces always say, well, I don't know. Let me see what I can do. And then they think of all the ways they could sacrifice themselves to make someone else feel happy. And Spirit's saying it's the end of that. That's awesome. So your word of prayer, Pisces, for the month of October 2017 is feminine. I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. And to close, I'm going to read from the book. Mother Mary demonstrates that you can be simultaneously feminine and strong. Her sweet and loving nature is balanced by a clear vision of her duty to God's will. Whether you're a woman or a man, you have a feminine and a masculine nature. This card comes to you as a message for you to allow your feminine side to be more present and accessible to others. Your femininity includes virtues such as nurturing, tenderness, sweetness, softness, and gentleness, as well as receptivity and intuition. In fact, in order for you to develop your spiritual gifts, including intuition, it's essential to allow yourself to receive, and that includes divine messages. So sometimes you guys may receive messages from the divine and you want to ignore them so badly because you want to help a human being, even if that human being wouldn't help you. And that's all beautiful. But at this point in your path, Spirit wants you to look for a sign. They want your situation to improve and to let you know that it's going to and that everything is going to happen according to perfect timing. 
And I feel like I just want to pull one word of prayer from the messages from your angels oracle deck. All right, I guess I've said the same thing. Athena is here to confirm. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Pisces, this is a new you being born to follow your own heart and your own guidance, to bring in your own prosperity. You can still listen to the pain of others, but you don't need to sacrifice. Right now, you need to focus on your own abundance in life and know that spirit is working on bringing that towards you. Get rid of the swords. Get rid of the swords. And know that the blessings are on their way in. I can't wait to hear towards the end of October how much further you've come than just today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care and God bless.